Hello, my friends. Welcome to week number 26 of Napoleon Hill's A Year of Growing Rich. Today's title is Sell to Yourself. What you say and how you say it are extremely important. Others judge us by the way we speak, our vocabulary, and how we deliver our ideas and thoughts. But how we appear, not what we say, often has equal or greater impression on others and on ourselves. How others perceive us and how we see ourselves are both very important if we are to achieve the level of success we desire. One of the most successful salesmen in America drives around with an expensive set of golf clubs in the back of his car. He has never shot a stroke of golf in his life, but you would be surprised how effectively he uses those golf clubs to knock down any obstacles that get in his way of making a sale. Without ever saying so, he gives the impression of being so successful that he can spend considerable time playing golf. When he is invited to play a game, he always pleads previous appointments with the Vander Morgans or Rocker Blitz, but he never allows himself to be cornered for a game. If he ever did, he would be sunk. Fraud? Deceit? Misrepresentation? No. He is the most successful salesman in his field. He sell, to sell successfully, he has to b bolster his own ego, which harms no one, and he sells. Personally, I've never felt the ac acute necessity of bolstering my ego by such things and you probably haven't either. But if it did feel that, but if I did feel that way, I would go to any extreme required to do the job properly. Perhaps I might even go that salesman one better. I've discovered in dealing with thousands of men and women in every conceivable walk of life that the human ego is a very tricky thing and has to be influenced in various and devious ways according to the nature of the owner and his or her previous experience. I would be the last person in the world to recommend that anyone resort to a scheme of deceit to, to injure another or take advantage of any person in any manner whatsoever. However, I wouldn't be one of the first to help certain people scheme to deceive their own egos in order to relieve them of the fear and poverty complexes that, by which so many people are bound. One of my students, a life insurance salesman, wears an eight carat diamond ring which serves him as a sort of magic wand while he is talking to his prospective buyers. The man is one of the largest producers for a mutual life insurance company. On a side note, I couldn't imagine selling life insurance. Some time ago, he took his diamond to a jeweler to have it reset in a new mounting. The job required a couple of days. During this time, the salesman worked harder than usual, but he failed to make a sale. He said that when he began to talk to a prospective buyer, he would look down at his ringless finger and sometimes something inside him seemed to say, he isn't going to buy, he isn't gonna buy. going to buy. The small vo voice proved to be right. No sale was made. As soon as he got his ring back, the salesman received six applications for insurance from six interviews his first day out. Now, as for, as for myself, if I were caught in public with an eight carat diamond ring on my finger, I would feel so self-conscious that I suspect, suspect my ego would let me down instead of al altering me for greater action. But I would recommend it, it for anyone who, like my insurance friend, gets a mental stimulate from an artificial ego booster. One of the most effective methods for boosting your ego and, any, and, <clears throat> and everyone needs to have his or her ego boosted is to select some person as a pace setter whose achieves Achievements you would like to equal or exceed. 
Use that person as a benchmark against which to measure your own accomplishments. Your marriage partner can become a powerful stimulant to your ego if the relationship is one of harmony and singleness of purpose. The, per the power of such an alliance creates a force that will propel you to success at a speed far greater than you can now imagine. <clears throat> your close your close colleagues can give your ego a tremendous shot in the arm if you associate with the right kind of people. Make sure the people around you encourage you and lift you up. And that's key. Make sure the people around you encourage you and lift you up instead of depressing you and dragging you down. I like that. Your ego needs stimulation occasionally. Use any tricks that work to improve yourself. If you need a if, I, if you need a babble to boost your self-esteem, buy it. As long as what you do doesn't hurt anyone and it helps you, it is the correct thing to do. If you feel good about yourself, it is apparent to everyone you meet. And remember, the very next person you meet may be the one who can give you a tremendous boost up the ladder to success. So there you have it. Stumbled with it a little bit. Hey, what do you know? I'm human. Week 26. Make it a great day and I will see you next time.